ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट Welcome to Onbil TV. This is Yankar Kekre Zanyo Sono. You're now watching Prime Time. First, the headlines. Ravneet Singh Bittu, Congress MP from Punjab's Ludhiana on Tuesday, joined Bharti Ajanta Party ahead of Lok Sabha elections. An explosive laden vehicle crashed into another vehicle in Bisham Tehsil of Khyber Patukwa, Shangla on Tuesday, resulting in the killing of at least six people, including five Chinese nationals. All the six former MLAs of Congress who rebelled against the party and joined the BJP in Himachal Pradesh have been fielded by the Safe and Party to contest the Himachal Pradesh Assembly polls by polls. Those were the top headlines and now for the news in details. Ravnit Singh Bittu, Congress MP from Punjab's Ludhiana on Tuesday, joined Bharti Ajanta Party ahead of the Lok Sabha elections and Ravnit Singh Bittu represented the Anandpur Sahib Lok Sabha constituency in Punjab from 2009 to 2014. In the 2009 Lok Sabha elections, Bittu defeated Shiromani Akali Dal's Dr. Dalijit Singh Chima with a margin of 67,204 votes on joining the BJP after Quitting Congress, Ravnit Singh Bittu said, The Prime Minister and the Home Minister always took it positively whenever he raised the issues of Punjab. We want to take Punjab forward. The country is benefiting by why should Punjab be left behind. I have no Prime Minister Sahib, or Home Minister Sahib, I have no Punjab for Punjab. So, he has always been there. He has always been there. पॉजिटिव तरीके से लिया है और आगे भी मेरी ऐसा हमेशा उनसे बातचीत होती रही है कि पंजाब आगे कैसे लेके जाना है हर थोड़ी है पंजाब पंजाबी कोई गोलियां खाता रहेगा जब पंजाबी डंडे खाता रहेगा वो चीजें हम सामने आके उसे पंजाबी को सेफ करेंगे क्योंकि बहुत चीजें हैं देश ले रहा है तो गुरदासपुर से जहाँ और से वो नहीं पार्टिसिपेट कर सके जिस वजह से नुकसान हुआ है तो अब अच्छी तरह हम बीजेपी के वहाँ से एमपी जीत के आएंगे और पंजाब का बनता हुआ क्योंकि बॉर्डर स्टेट है देश को रक्षा करने वाली वो स्टेट है तो उसका हक है जो वो यहाँ से लेके जाएंगे इसीलिए ये फैसला बहुत चिर से मेरी बातचीत उनसे हो रही थी और जब उन्होंने ये कहा भी हम पंजाब के लिए ये चीजें करना चाहते हैं ये ये काम करना चाहते हैं तो an explosive laden vehicle crashed into another vehicle in Bisham Tehsil of Khyber Patunkhwa, Shangla on Tuesday, resulting in the killing of at least six people, including five Chinese nationals. According to news agency Reuters, Chinese nationals were killed in an explosive when their convoy was attacked by a suicide bomber in northwest Pakistan. A suicide bomber rammed an explosive laden vehicle into a convoy of Chinese engineers which was on its way from Islamabad to the camp in Dasu in the Khyber Pantankwa province Mohammed Ali Gandapur, the regional police chief, told the news agency. Five Chinese nationals and their Pakistani driver were killed in the attack. Gandapur said, Bisham Station House Officer Bhakt Zahir told Dawn.com that the incident was a suicide blast and the authorities concerned were collecting the evidence. Security arrangements were tightened at the spot and the bodies were being shifted to hospital, he said further. Chinese engineers and Pakistani construction workers have for several years been working on hydroelectric projects as part of Beijing Belt and Road Initiative in the western province of Khyber Pantunkhwa. Dasu, home to a significant dam project, has been a target of previous attacks and in 2021 the attack in Dasu resulted in the deaths of nine Chinese nationals along with two Pakistani children. The incident was fielded by the Safran party to contest the Himachal Pradesh Assembly by polls. The six ex-Congress legislators were disqualified earlier by the Speaker. Along with them, two independents had joined the BJP on Saturday. 
the disqualified MLAs Sudhir Sharma, Ravi Thakur, Rajinder Rana, Inderdad Lokanpal, Chaitanya Sharma and Devinder Kumar Bhutto joined the BJP in the presence of Union Minister and Hamirpur MP Anurag Thakur. Former Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister J. Ram Thakur, its National General Secretary Arun Singh and the State Unit President Rajiv Bindal. The BJP has fielded Sudhir Sharma from Dharamshala Ravi Thakur from Lalhwal and PT Rajinder Rana from Sujan Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu said this proves BJP's indulges in horse trading. The people of the state will teach them a lesson, he said. This is the thing that the Bharatiya Janta Party has been doing horse trading in the time of the Raja Sabha. And in the next way, the six of Congress were given the right to the Congress. What do they do? They do this thing to prove that. हिमाचल देवी देवताओं की भूमि है देवी देवताओं में विश्वास रखने के वाले लोग हैं हिमाचल की जनता एक जून को उन्हें सबक सिखाएगी ये तो समय की बताएगा लेकिन मैं कह सकता हूँ हिमाचल प्रदेश में आया ग्राम गया राम की राजनीति नहीं थी भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने वो करवाई है जो कि गलत है Following the announcement of fielding Prakash Joshi as Congress candidate from Nainital Utham Singh Nagar for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, Deepak Balutia, the Uttarakhand Congress state spokesperson, tendered his resignation, accusing the party of marginalizing its grassroots workers. In his resignation letter, Balutia expressed his disappointment, stating that despite his dedicated service of 35 years to the party as a diligent worker and loyal soldier, he felt continuously overlooked by the leadership. Balutia submitted his resignation to Selja Kumari, the Congress Uttar Khan in charge of Sunday morning. Prakash Joshi will contest against Union Minister of State for Defence and Tourism, Ajay Bhatt. We'll now take a short break. We'll be back with more news. जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट से नहीं बना तो पड़ेगा रोना पानी घुसने से कंक्रीट कमजोर हो जाए स्टार वेदर शीट सीमेंट खराब मौसम में घर वेदर प्रूफ बनाए स्टार वेदर शीट जल प्रतिरोधक सीमेंट वेदर प्रूफ घर डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट गरम ते है पेट और मुंह के ठंडा रखे तो कि मुख्य खाली मीठा है लगे इधर हेल्दी है से यूएचटी ट्रीटेड और सफा भी है से थर्ड ये तो फ्रेश है से आराम मुझसे भी वाव केविंटर लस्सी मीठा भी हेल्दी भी केविंटर लस्सी मीठा भी हेल्दी भी डर मत टाइगर है ना ब्लैक टाइगर सीमेंट Welcome back. Heading on to the next news. BJP has decided to go solo this Lok Sabha elections. It would not form an alliance with the Shiromani Akali Dal. This was announced by the state party president Sunil Jakar and he said that the decision was taken based on the opinion of the people and the party workers in the state. On Tuesday, BJP leader Majinder Singh Sirsa, speaking on the seat sharing in Punjab, said that the party has decided to contest all 13 seats alone as they wanted to remain in direct contact with the people of Punjab. Party, कृपालता वायुगुरु ने जड़ी मेयर की थी या बक्शिस देती है आ प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी दी बीजेपी सरकार नू का बक्शिस प्राप्त हुई है ते अगे भी पंजाब दा सुनहरा पवेख आ मन के कि पंजाब दी बेहतरी पंजाब दा सुरक्षित पवेख ते पंजाब दे सरहदी मजबूती है ते अमन शांति नू मजबूत रख के 
ਭਾਰਤ ਅੱਗੇ ਤਰੱਕੀ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਮੱਦੇ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਆ ਫੈਸਲਾ ਲਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਪੂਰਾ ਯਕੀਨ ਹੈ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੇ 1 ਜੂਨ ਨੂੰ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦੇ ਲੋਕ ਬੀਜੇਪੀ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਰ ਮਜ਼ਬੂਤ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਦੇਸ਼ ਦੀ ਉਨਤੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਦਾ ਯੋਗਦਾਨ ਬੀਜੇਪੀ ਨੂੰ ਵੋਟ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਹੁਮ ਹਮਾ ਕੇ ਪਾਣਗੇ Manipur Tribal Body ITLF of the Indigenous Tribal Leaders Forum has asked the Kukizo community not to file nomination for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. The decision was ta- was reportedly taken after the forum's presidential council discussed with its constituent members tribes in the light if the current challenges faced by the community. The council has however asked its community members to exercise their democratic right to vote but abstain from contesting. for the outer manipur member of parliament seat heading on to the next news lurin joyti gogoi of ajp on tuesday filed his nomination from dibrugarh for the upcoming lok sabha elections early of god of gogoi of congress and sub sarvananda sonawal of bjp also submitted their nomination papers the electoral process in assam is structured across three phases comp- promising a closely watched contest the electoral arena also witnessed the entry of sarvananda sonawal a senior bhartiya janta party leader and union minister who officially entered the fray by filing his nomination papers for the dibrugarh lok sabha constituency the first phase is scheduled for april 19th with the official election notification releases soon march 20 the deadline for filing nomination is march 27 followed by scrutiny on March 28 and the withdrawal deadline on March 30 After Varun Gandhi was sidelined by the BJP to contest the upcoming Lok Sabha elections Congress leader Adir Ranjan Choudhury said on Tuesday that Varun Gandhi is most welcome to join the Congress He said that Varun Gandhi is a tall leader educated and has a clean image Choudhury alleged that BJP did not give Varun ticket to fight the election because he is related to the Gandhi family. Aana to chahiye. Aane se khushi honge. Bade aur tabar neta hai. Bade shikshit aadmi hai. Aur unki chhavi bade spasht hai. Saaf sutra chhavi hai. Aur Gandhi parivar ke sath unka judao hai. Isliye unko ticket dene mein inkar kiye aapki BJP party. The BJP has dropped Varun Gandhi to contest from Uttar Pradesh Pilibit. The party revealed its fifth list of candidates for the Lok Sabha elections on Sunday and had decided to switch things up in Pilibit and instead nominating his mother Manika Gandhi. Manika Gandhi will now be contesting from Sultanpur in Uttar Pradesh. Varun Gandhi has been replaced by former Congress leader Jitin Prasada who joined the BJP in 2021 from Congress. Meanwhile, in the Australian and former Congress MP Navin Jindal, who recently joined the BJP, will be contesting from the Kurukshetra seat in Haryana. The Francis Scott Key Bridge in US Baltimore in Maryland collapsed early Tuesday morning after it was struck by a large ship. According to reports the concerned authorities have settled all traffic and casualty of injuries impacted by the collide still remains unclear. Emergency personnel are also on the scene and efforts are underway reported CNN quoting that Baltimore mayor. The bridge which is 1.6 mile and four lane extends over the Patapsco River and serves as the outermost crossing of the Baltimore Harbor and is also an essential link of Interstate 695 or the Baltimore Beltway. We'll now take another short break. Stay tuned. Vomiting, diarrhea, pet bikha. 
skin rashes, face, tongue, or lips polija, sas lobule dukpa, itu can sop, foot intolerance, nahoile allergy laga symptoms as Doctor nahoile healthcare provider ke consult kuribi, aru nijor laga dietary requirements ki kabule lage itu jani bi. Pack food kinya time te, label te likhit hagya specific ingredients, aru advisory statement kan hodai puribi. Bishi bar tai can claim kure, lactose free, gluten free, or may contain allergens. Inika ka jinis kan nakini bi, kile koile, tade tagia kumba ingredient pra, abnike allergy hopo pare. Abnike lactose intolerance ase koile, dud na hoile bi, dud pra bana kana kana lubi, aro abnike gluten intolerance ase koile, wheat na hoile, wheat pra kana bana kana na lubi. Allergy reaction to bishi hoi she koile, jolly treatment lubi, aro doctor logo consult kuribi. that often gets overlooked. It refers to the idea of preserving and sustaining traditional cultures in the face of globalization and modernization. Sustainable tourism, alternatively, promises not only to support economic development in destinations, but also to facilitate cultural and environmental conservation in heritage sites around the world. Tourism has not always been the most sustainable endeavor. Some forms of tourism have even led to culturally and environmentally abusive and exploitative practices from polluting to poaching. The World Tourism Organization defines sustainable tourism as tourism that takes full account of its current and future economic, social and environmental impacts, addressing the needs of the visitors, the industry, the environment and host communities. Nagland is also a hub of Welcome back. Congress leader Supriya Shinati's controversial post, which she later said she had not made on BJP's Kangana Rano triggered on row on March 25. The post used Kangana's image with an objectionable caption, which was later deleted. Soon Kangana Rano hit back at the Congress leader, saying that she has played various roles in movies and every woman deserves dignity. Supriya Shinati's claimed that the post, which has been since been taken down was made by someone who had access to her FB and Insta accounts. She also said, anyone who knows her will know that she would never say for a woman and blame a parody account for misusing her name. The post was made a day after the BJP filled at Kangana Ranaut from Himachal Pradesh Monday. Meanwhile, BJP leader slammed Supriya Shinate over the post and demanded that she should be immediately sacked. फेसबुक और इंस्टाग्राम अकाउंट का एक्सेस कई लोगों के पास है उसमें से किसी एक व्यक्ति ने आज एक बेहद घृणित और आपत्तिजनक पोस्ट की मुझे जैसे ही पता चला मैंने सर्वप्रथम उस पोस्ट को डिलीट किया क्योंकि जो कोई भी मुझे जानता है वो अच्छी तरह से जानता है कि मैं कभी भी किसी भी महिला के खिलाफ व्यक्तिगत भद्दी और भोंदी टिप्पणी कर ही नहीं सकती हूं मैं इसकी घोर विरोधी हूं फिर मैंने जानना चाहा कि आखिर ये कैसे हुआ तब पता चला कि ट्विटर पर मेरा नाम का दुरुपयोग करके एक पैरोडी अकाउंट चलाया जा रहा है सुप्रिया पैरोडी के नाम से वहीं पर ही ऑब्जेक्शनेबल पोस्ट हुआ और वहीं से किसी ने कॉपी पेस्ट करके मेरे फेसबुक और इंस्टा पे डाला मैं ये पूरी तरह से जानने में जुटी हूं कि जिन लोगों के पास एक्सेस था उनमें से किसने यह घृणित काम किया साथ ही मैंने इस पैरोडी अकाउंट को भी ट्विटर को रिपोर्ट किया क्योंकि यह पहली बार नहीं हुआ है पहले भी मेरे नाम का दुरुपयोग करके जो भूबहू सुप्रिया श्रीनेत का अकाउंट लगता है वहां से अनर्गल टिप्पणियां भ्रमित बातें कही जाती हैं मैंने सर्वप्रथम इसको ट्विटर को रिपोर्ट किया और इस अकाउंट को भी मैं बंद कराऊंगी जैसे मैंने बाकियों को बंद कराया है लेकिन मैं यहां पे बिल्कुल बोलना चाहती हूं कि मैं किसी भी सूरत में सार्वजनिक जीवन में भद्दी भोंडी व्यक्तिगत टिप्पणियों के खिलाफ हूं न मैंने ऐसा कभी किया है और न मैं कर सकती हूं विचारधारा की लड़ाई पुरजोर तरीके से पूरी ईमानदारी से और पूरी मजबूती से लड़ने में मेरा यकीन है महिलाओं के खिलाफ मैं आपत्तिजनक शब्दों का प्रयोग ही नहीं कर सकती हूं एएपी लीडर एंड दिल्ली मिनिस्टर सौरभ भारद्वाज सेट इवन फ्रॉम द ईडी कस्टडी दिल्ली चीफ मिनिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल इज वरीड अबाउट द हेल्थ एंड द हेल्थ केयर ऑफ द स्टेट ही इज वरीड दैट बिकॉज़ ही इज इन जेल द पीपल ऑफ दिल्ली शुड नॉट सफर बिकॉज़ ऑफ इट 
The CM has received information that people are facing difficulties in the task carried out at the Mohala clinics and he also directed him to take steps to resolve the issue. I want to ensure the people of Delhi that even the CM is in jail, he is only thinking about the citizens, he said. That's all for the Primetime Bulletin. This is your anchor signing off.